Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, thank you. Thank you for waiting for me. Okay, excellent. You ready? Yes. Yep. yes okay, please. excellent. Okay, very good. Uh, I was looking at section number two. Oh did my you God. did you look at section number two? No? Todavía no están ahí? No. I finished the one. No. Eh, ¿Ya terminó toda la sección 1? Yes. Pero, ah, ok, no importa. Entonces está, está bien, porque ahora vamos a, vamos a introducir la, la sección 2, el, el inicio. Ok. Ok. Eh, Carlos, ¿cómo estás? Mucho gusto. Thank you. Tenía, Mucho gusto. Ya tenía rato de no verte. Me he perdido, teacher, por motivo <risa> de trabajo. <risa> ah, bueno, ok. Pero ahí, ahí estamos. Siempre. Pero ya, ya tenés acceso a la plataforma y todo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ya por la 1.4 creo que voy por donde se knuckle check. Eh, 1.4, vaya, ahorita estamos en la, vamos a iniciar la 2. Entonces te, te voy a adelantar un poquito, pero ahí después tú puedes terminar la 1, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, all right, excellent. Uh, let me share with you my screen so that we can go to section two. We're going to go to section two. Okay, I put a, a picture in, in, in WhatsApp. Vieron la, la foto que puse? Yes. Era una de, de verbs. Yes. Okay, very good. So, uh, in English, uh, como, como ustedes ya saben, we have regular verbs and irregular verbs, right? So, regular verbs in English are very easy because you can make them past when you add ed, okay? So, let me see, let me, let me go to my word. Let me give you an example. Okay, so we have regular verbs and irregular. Okay, so the regular verbs son un poco más fácil because, for example, you say look, right? How, that's present. How do you make it past? Liquid. Okay, very good. Look. Okay. So, very easy. Another example, work. How do you make it past? Work. Worked. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, today, since we're doing verbs, past verbs, uh, today we're going to practice with did, did, and do. And also, quiero tocar un poquito los regular and the irregular verbs. And then I'm going to do pronunciation. The pronunciation of the past tense. Because uh, sometimes, lo podemos leer así como estamos leyendo en español y decimos look it. But that's not correct. The pronunciation is not correct. We're going to see today the pronunciation, okay? All right, so... This, these are regular verbs, son fácil. Uh, irregular verbs, do you know an example of irregular verbs? For example, go. What is the past of go? Went. 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 Entonces se, se escribe totalmente diferente, ¿verdad? Eh, no, puedo, no puedo ponerle una ed al final de go. Para hacerlo pasado, ¿verdad? No. Um, another example. See. What is the past? So. 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 Very good. Okay. Good. So the list that I sent you is the irregular verbs. The list that I sent you. Okay. All right. So let's go to uh, let's go to English corporativo. Uh, we're going to do. Lesson 
and we're going to use did. Questions with did, okay? What is the present of did? What will be the present? Did is past, right? Ah, uh, yeah, do. Do, very good. So if I use, a, let me give you another example. If I use do, do you, mm, do you like pizza? Okay. This is the, the past, I'm sorry, the present. Questions with did, did you go to the movies? Okay, question. Which one is present, which one is past? Number one, number two. Number one, is it present or past? Present. Present, present. very good. Number two, present or past? Past. Past, very good, correct. Ahí le daría falta el you, ¿verdad? Did you go? Ah, yes, did you go to the movie, sorry. Okay. Did you go to the movies? Very good. So, eh, pero ¿por qué el verbo está en el presente? Go. Mm. ¿Es necesario cambiarlo? No. Oh. Why? Porque ya está uh -huh. did. Yes, very good. Did. Mm -hmm. So, did is the auxiliary verb. El verbo auxiliar, did. Ok. So pone todo el resto de los verbos en el pasado. Ok. Ok. Yes. So we're going to practice that. Now, this I can answer with yes or no, right? Es una pregunta yes or no. Ok. But I can, I can make other questions. What about if I put what? Did you see in class today? What did you see in class today? Ah, ahora estoy usando did igual, pero tengo una WH question in front. Do you see? Very good. So I have WH plus did. And my verb, la misma regla, no es necesario cambiarlo because I'm using did. Okay. Very good. So that's what we're going to see today. I want to show you the video. Eh, algunos ya lo vieron, otros no. So, tómenlo como una lección nueva. Okay, so let's listen to the video. Hi to all, welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? Okay. Before I continue, you have to uh, identify the verbs in the past. ¿Cuántos verbos aquí en el pasado vemos? Okay? As, as you listen to it. Identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, how many verbs did you recognize from there? No, I didn't. How many verbs 
can you see? So let me let me take this off. How um, many verbs in the past do you see there? Uh, five. Um, five. Okay. Uh, which one do you see there in the first line? Did. Did. Yes. Very good. Did. Mm -hmm. uh, and then continue. Do you see another one? Had. Had. Oh, yeah. You might put a Had. Very good. Another one? Another verb? Went. 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 Very good. Another one? Sang. Sang. Yes. Correct. It's uh, the, the present sing. sing. The past sang. Very good. And continue. Went. Mm -hmm. Went. Okay, continue. Stayed. Stayed, yes, very good. Okay, continue. Studied. Studied, yes. Studied. Mm -hmm. Forgot. 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 Yes, I forgot. Yes, very good, very good. Okay. Stayed? Stayed. Stayed. Uh -huh. I stayed home. Me quedé en la casa. I stayed home. Okay. All right, excellent, excellent. So, uh, what you're going to do here is Van a ir a, en esta sección, lo pueden hacer ahorita individualmente, si pueden. Ir a Inglés Corporativo. And go to, this is lesson 2.2.2. Yeah, no, 2.1, sorry. 2.1. Conversation did in la, did, did you do anything? So, you're going to uh, write here in a post, right here in the post, okay? You're going to write in the title, your name. So in el titulo va su nombre, okay? For example, Carlos, right? Whatever, Carlos teacher. And then here, I want you to put the verbs. Pueden, pueden numerarlos si quieren para ver cuánto encontraron. And you have to put it in the present and in the past. Okay? So, le doy el primero. Do. Present. Did. Okay? Eso es uno, uno de los que encontré allí. Okay, so, you're going to do this. And then, <coughs> le van a dar submit. Okay? Y ahí va a quedar su trabajo ahí. En la plataforma. Okay, so in discussion, in discussion, in discussion, correct. Uh huh. In the in discussion, and you can put a post. Creo que uh huh. Add, add a post, y le va a salir okay. ese menú. In the title, your name, and then here, one, two, three, four. Put the present and the past form of the verb. Okay? okay. I'll give you some time. I'll give you uh, maybe five minutes to do that. Okay. Okay. Mm. Bye.
Okay, very good. Nineve, you already did it. Good job. Okay. El resto, eh, pueden poner, pueden poner lo que tienen. Okay, solo queda un minuto. I did it. Okay. Okay, Carla. I got. Okay. Okay, uh, you can post your response. Don't worry if you if you don't have them all, it's okay. Just put the ones that you have. Okay, very good. Uh, we're going to continue with the class. I want to practice irregular verbs, okay? So I, I have two activity for, for the irregular verbs. Eh, me enfoco más en los irregular verbs porque son un poco más difícil, ya que se escriben diferente. Lo fácil son solo los que tienen ed al final. Esos son regular verbs. Okay, so uh, I have two activities. I have a game. And then I have a grammar activity. Which one do you want to do first? Game. You want to play the game first? Okay. Okay, very good. So I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. Okay. Eight. No, uh, eight conmigo. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have eight. Eight with me, right? But I'm not, I'm not going to play. Okay, so, vamos a hacer los equipos, okay? Uh, let me see, let me see. Team one is going to be uh, Marco, eh, Jose, eh, and Betsy. Betsy, ¿está ahí? Hola, sí, estoy aquí. Okay, puede ver, puede ver mi pantalla. Sí, teacher. Ok. La soy así la puedo ver. Ok. Ya, ya, voy, a, ya voy a compartir el, el, el juego. So, vamos, vamos a jugar un juego, ok? Ok. Irregular verbs. The next team, team number two, is going to be Nineve, Verónica, eh, Carla. Ah, we have Carlos there. Ok, Carlos, you're going to go to team one. Okay, so repeat the teams. Team one is going to be Marco, Jose, Betsy, and Carlos. Uh, team two is going to be Nineve, Veronica, and, uh, and Carla. Yeah? Very good. So I'm going to share my computer screen with you. Okay? Uh, ven mi pantalla. Do you see the game? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to play this game. It's called Jeopardy. So we're going to play um, two teams, only two teams. Okay. Team number one, the color is blue. Okay. Team okay. number two, the color is red. Okay. Who All is right. blue? blue? Blue is Marco, Jose, Betsy, and Carlos, team one. Okay. Okay, very good. So, okay. uh, blue team is going to go for first. Team one, Marco, Jose, Betsy, and Carlos. Uh, team one, okay. Me tienen que decir, what do you want? Now, look, you have a 
points here, right? Irregular past one, and then me dicen cual quieren. Le va a salir una pregunta. Okay. okay? So, uh, Marco, which one do you want? Uh, 200. Uh, for irregular past one or two? Three uh, or no, past one. Okay, very good. Tienen 40 segundos para responder. Only team one. Marco, José, Betsy, and Carlos. Los, los cuatro podemos responder en esta pregunta. Uno de ustedes. Uno, ni, uno de no, importa, no importa quién. Pero, y, si solo alguien que sea, no sabe. Ajá, se, solo que sea su equipo. Marco, José, Bessie oh. y Carlos. Eight seconds. Hurry up. Eh, Tina, go up. Early. Which one? Eight B. C. Okay, very good. Yes, you have to tell me the letter. Okay, very good. Team two is Nineve, Veronica, and Carla. Okay. Okay, Nineve, you go first. Which one do you want? Nineve, are you there? Yes. Okay. Which one? S2, 300. Okay. My mother blank me a nice watch for my birth, my last birthday. Birthday. Letter B. Bye. B. B. Okay. Bye. Now remember, no le ayuden al otro equipo. <laughs> remember your team. All right, very good. Uh, Jose, Betsy, Carlos, and Marco. What team go? Uh, which one? A Betsy. Um, irregular pass one, uh, 400. Okay. When was the last time you blank karaoke? When was the last time you... Um, is son C maybe? C okay. Yes. Bang. Very good. Okay, uh, Veronica, team number two, you choose. Uh, irregular past two, one uh, four hundred. Okay. When she blank for school this morning, Miriam looked unhappy. And letter, letter A. Okay. Good job. Okay. Team number one, Marco, Jose, Betsy, and Carlos. Kike. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Let's say Carlos, you can go. You choose. Irregular pass to mm -hmm. 200. Okay. My sister blank the bus to school yesterday. Yeah, sería literal eight. A. A, B, C, D. A. Which one? Ay, ay. Good, good. Okay, Carla, your turn. Team number two. Irregular, irregular part three. 400. Okay. I think I know who blanked my money yesterday. B? B? Yes. Oh, I see. Yes. yes, stolen es el tercer tiempo del verbo que se llama el past participle. Stole. Okay. Okay, very Sorry. good. No problem. Marco, José, Betsy, Carlos. Eh, Marco, go. Uh, 
Okay, irregular past one, uh, 300. Okay. When was the last time you blank in that pool? Uh, eight swims. Eight? Uh, eight. Oh. 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 No. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nineveh, your turn. Okay. My phone blanked during the lesson and the teacher got angry. Which one is it, Nineve? C. No. Okay. Veronica and Nineve say C. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, Marco Jose Betsy and Carlos, team number one. Okay. Jose, Jose. <coughs> Betsy, you can go. Irregular pass one, 100. Okay. What time blank? Did you go home last night? Did. 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 Team A? Yes. Good job. Good job. Okay. Uh, let's see. Veronica, team number two. Uh, irregular pass three, 200. Okay. Amy blank her bed this morning before going to school. Uh, letter A, uh, yes, May, letter A. Okay. Good job. Okay, uh, team one. Marco, Jose, Betsy, Carlos. Jose. Jose, are you there? Irregular path for 100. 100. Yes. Okay. My father yes. blank home very late last night. He came. Okay. Yeah, my father realized last night. D. Coming. Mm, no, el pasado. Okay. Marcos, Marcos te ayudó. No, estamos buscando el pasado. Come, present. Past, came. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Nineve. Okay. Pass for um, 200. Okay. Andy, blank, a story which won a prize. B, grow. Okay, uh, Marcos. Uh, irregular past three. 100. Ah, sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> I thought you said 300. Matter. Okay. I blank a ghost story last night. I was frightened. Uh, letter C, read. Yes, read. Read and read and escribe igual. Solo que se pronuncia diferente. Present, read. Past, read. Uh, it's like the color. Like the color, yes. Good job. Okay. Uh, Veronica, team number two. Okay. Uh, uh, irregular past for 400. Okay. Carl blank too much coke yesterday and had to see the doctor. Hi. Um, drunk. Uh, drunk. Uh, letter D. A, B, D? D. D. Yeah. This one. D. Yes. Ah. Uh, no, no. 
Yes, good job. Uh, let's see, Betsy. Hello. Irregular pass to 100. Last night, I blank a scary movie. I... So, so B. B. Letter B. Which one you think, Betsy? Help me, team. <laughs> uh, letter B, so. Okay, yes. That's correct. C, present. Saw, past. Okay, and the last one. Thing number two. Last summer, my family blank to Paris. Nineveh, Veronica, and Carla. Ah, okay. One of you. Letter A. Mm. Yeah. All right, good job. Okay. Two one. The red team, they won. They had 1,900 1, points. Okay, excellent, good job. Okay. <laughs> Those are uh, nice little games that you can play and have fun. Okay, knowledge check, 2.4, knowledge check. Here you have to choose the correct auxiliary verb, and you have to, uh, the, the correct verb tense. So instructions, complete these conversations. Question and answer must be in the simple past. Uh, okay, okay. Very good. So uh, I'm going to put you in teams so that you can work together. There are 10 questions for this, okay? So I'm going to put you in, in teams. Uh, let's see. Somos ocho con... Okay, two groups of two, and then one group would have three. Okay, remember the link join, click on join to go to the conference room, to go to your group. Jose, dele join para que vaya a su grupo. En la sección 2 del curso. Sí, estamos en la 2.4, Knowledge Check. Ah, ok. Es, es bien fácil, solamente es el uso de did y simple past. Ah, aquí está. Eh, bien, la primera, si gustan, lo, lo, lo leemos. La primera sería... Lo pueden leer juntos y así ir. Uh -huh. eh, la primera sería la última, the last one, did and stay. Did you stay home on Saturday? So it's one, two, or three. And number three. Okay. Ah. Pongámosles A, B, C. Uh, C. Lástima no, que no tienen A, B, one. C. The letter C. Okay. Did you stay home on Saturday? Yes, that's okay. So then link. Continue. Number two, uh, Carlos. Number two, Carlos. Go. Okay. Ya está ahí, en el 2.4. Sí, sí ya, ya, ya. Ok. Sería... Sería... Son... Tres... No, opción, opción, opción uno. Yes. I, I didn't, I didn't call the drug. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. I no, I didn't call Rod. Ok. Ok. Aunque aquí tengo una duda. Este es algo como la... La regla sería de que cuando se usa el did, 
Uh -huh. el, ya la respuesta podría ir siempre en presente o siempre o se puede usar el verbo en pasado. Ah, aquí tenés dos oraciones separadas. Uh -huh. eh, so, tengan cuidado con una, eso. Una, una negativa, ¿verdad? Sí, la primera es negativa, ya saben que es didn't, right? Uh -huh. Pero, como es otra oración completamente separada, okay. tiene que usar, tienes que usar la regla de simple past. Ah, oh, siempre me han pasado. No así en la número uno, que era siempre dentro de la misma uh -huh. pregunta. Correct. Cuando es dentro de la misma oración, si se usa, eh, cuando se usa el did, uh -huh. el verbo va en presente. Exacto. Así es. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Entonces, número dos, hay otra oración separada, tiene que ahora el verbo cambiar. Ah, ok. Ok. Kike, number three. Está en la no plataforma. Puedo entrar, no puedo entrar a la plataforma en estos momentos, me, me bloquea. ¿Qué pasó? Ya tenía, ya tenía acceso. Sería, sería sí, bueno que... Sí, estaba dentro. Que... Cuando ingrese... No, eh, sí, estaba dentro. Dígame, dígame, dígame. Es sí. que cuando ingrese y ponga el password... Usted puede, creo que sale un mensaje ahí en Google que dice que si quiere que la computadora guarde su contraseña. La próxima vez que vea sí, ese mensaje, no. dile, dígale que sí. Si, ah. si, si ya ingresó el, el contraseña correcto, dígale que sí. Así ya no tiene que cada vez que ingrese poner el password. Um, lo ya. que pasa es que creo que no había entrado antes, ¿verdad, Kike? ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Sí. De hecho, estaba conectado, pero me, me botó de la conexión y no, no me deja entrar ahorita. Fíjese que a mí también. A mí no me deja hacer mayor cosa, pero ahí sí me deja entrar ahí. Al... No, Estamos no, no, en, no, en la no. plataforma de inglés, inglés corporativo, ahí, ¿verdad? Ahí sí Ajá, puedo. correcto, Ajá. sí. Yo sí, sí me conecté a un principio. De hecho, estaba conectado antes de que empezara la clase, pero me botó la, la, la sesión y no me deja entrar ahorita. Pero sí, vaya, lo, vaya de, dele respeto. Lo que voy a hacer es cambiar clave, mejor. No, no, tenga cuidado, no puede hacer eso. Porque, no, no puedo. Ah. No, no, no puede hacer okay. eso. Ellos le dieron una clave a usted. Ajá, correcto. No puede cambiarla. Ah, va, entonces no, no muevo. Sí, porque dijo en la, en la primera sesión que era muy difícil volver a, a recuperar la... El, el usuario para poder entrar ah, si sí, cambiaba la clave vaya el usuario es el mismo como el correo electrónico sí correcto sí entonces está está teniendo ahí un problema con la con la con conexión la, con, no no con la contraseña entonces usted ya ingresó el usuario el cual es el mismo que su correo electrónico y es todo todo el correo electrónico y después el contraseña correcto. Tiene que ser, eh, no sé si le dieron 1, 2, 3, 4, no sé. 4, 5, ajá, correcto. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, entonces ya probó, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sí, pero no me deja entrar. Entonces, algo está tecleando, usted, alguna tecla, alguna letra que puso mal usted. No, porque me, me pude conectar al principio. Me, me bota la sesión y hoy no me deja entrar. Pero como lo está poniendo es manual, que está, está ingresando claro. manual. Eh, ah, correcto, eso sí. Como está, ajá, como está ingresando usted la palabra, eh, la, la contraseña manual. Yo, fíjese que yo hago esto, mire. Antes de yo ponerlo en la contraseña, lo escribo en otro lugar, ahí en mi computadora, para ver si está correcto. Copiar y pegar. Y, ajá, ajá, no, copiar, y pegar. copiar y pegar. Ajá, correcto. Ajá, de, de hecho lo tengo anotado en un notepad, mi, mi usuario y clave, y siempre hago lo mismo. ¿Y qué pasó ahora? No le da copy no, paste. No me deja. No, 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 no me permite. Le, le, le está dando algún, algún mensaje en rojo, algún mensaje ahí. Que la, la, la contraseña no, 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 no es la correcta. Sí, posiblemente está, está, está typing algo que está mal. Ok, mire, le voy a dar... Eh, 
Ah, sí. no, no, no puedo, no puedo. No te puedo dar el, el link porque no te va a funcionar. Tiene que tener acceso Correcto. adentro de la plataforma. Es que es bien fácil el, el contraseño, ¿verdad? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Sí. Es que es súper fácil. Entonces revise que si, si está ingresando su correo correctamente. El usuario. Porque ni iniciar sesión con, con cuenta de Google me, me, me permite. Cerrar sesión con, con cuenta de Google. Bueno, digamos con la clase, Jordi. Ver algo. No sé. Bueno, ustedes continúen, Marco y, y Carlos, continúen ustedes. Ok. Eh, number three sería sí. how sí. do you spend? Uh, no, for me is the letter C. Did spend? Ah, ah, oh, sí, sí. No, no. Ajá. Ok. Vamos a ver otra vez. Hoy sí. A ver qué otra uh, tengo mala. Y luego en la 3. La 3. Ya le digo, puse ah, la 3. Sí, es que yo soy necia con eso, Spend. Uh, I have a party. Everyone enjoy it. But the neighbors didn't like the noise. The noise. Okay. What did you do last night? I went to the new Jim Curry film. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Yes. I went. Yes, I went. I spent shopping. Unfortunately, I... Uh, Ah, no, no, me equivoqué, me equivoqué. Dice, yes, I did. I went uh, shopping. Unfortunately, I spent all my money. Now I am broke. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. You did, you did sing at the party? No, I didn't. I was sick. I was sick. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Usted lo pronunció bien. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yo es que lo digo rápido para que no. Unfortunately. Entenderme mucho. ¿Cómo lo dijo usted? Unfortunately. Yes, I did. Es que le digo así como, yes, I did. I... Espérame, espérame. Déjenme pensar lo que ahorita es mal pues. Y le digo como, un, es como este, este un es como un for, un for, ajá, así lo digo yo, pero no sé si, porque sé que el i si termina como ri, sí. como ri, ajá, unfortunately, ajá, yes, correct, unfortunately, ok, veamos que nos acaban de mandar, ok, como que nos oyeron las pronunciaciones. Juan. Eh, eh, ok. Ok, welcome back. I, I want to, we only have nine minutes before we finish. So I, I want to do the pronunciation of the verbs, the past tense verbs, ok? So I'm going to share my computer screen with you so that you can see, okay. I have a chart here, a picture. I sent this to WhatsApp. So lo pueden ver en WhatsApp también, pero ahorita si quieren mejor vean mi pantalla. So for the past verbs, the regular verbs, we put ED, right? To make it past. 
but the pronunciation is different, okay? So, there's three pronunciations. Primero voy a empezar con T, the T pronunciation. The, the ED here sounds like a T, 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 like a T. For example, you say helped, looked, washed, catched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. Do you hear the pronunciation? Es una T. T. Helped. Looked. Washed. Yesterday, I washed my clothes. Okay. So the pronunciation is T. Now, después me voy aquí a la D. D. The pronunciation for this is D. D. Called. Cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed, the, the, the. Okay? And then I have un tercer sonido. This one is ID. Wanted. Id, 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 wanted, needed. Okay. So, how do I know which mm -hmm. one to choose? Okay. Yes. Aquí vienen las reglas. All right. Very good. So, pay attention. Rule number one. Okay. The T sound. I use the T sound. Okay. When the verb finishes in voiceless, okay? Aquí tienen que entender lo que es voice y voiceless, okay? So, antes de explicarle las reglas, rapidito, voice es el sonido con la garganta. Esa es la, la vibración de las cuerdas vocales. For example, loved, d, love, love. Love, es la vibración. Póngase el dedo aquí en la garganta y digan love. 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 Solo love, love en, 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 así en su, en su verbo normal. Love. 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 Van a sentir una vibración. Love. Entonces, voiceless... Es que solamente es aire. For example, kiss. Only air. Kiss. Es decir, ese sonido final lo hago solamente usando aire. Kiss. Es, es como la S. Kiss. Only air. Pongas el dedo aquí en la garganta y digan kiss. Pongas el dedo aquí en la garganta y digan kiss. Kiss. Van a ver que solamente es aire, no hay vibración en la garganta. Kiss. Okay. So, conociendo lo que es voice and voiceless, ahora les puedo enseñar las reglas. Rule number one. If you have voiceless sound, usa la T. Rule number two. If you have voice sound, the voice sound, wait, permit. If you have the voice sound, okay, then you're going to use the D sound, okay? Now, hay una tercer regla. En el caso de que la palabra en su verbo no, normal, en su verbo base, termine con T o con D, entonces tengo que usar la tercera regla, id. ¿Por qué? Porque si yo digo want y lo repito otra vez con T, va, va a sonar así, miren. Want it. 
wanted. Y eso no existe. Suena mal. Entonces, por eso hay un tercer sonido. Cuando la palabra termina en T o en D, va a ser regla número 3. Ok. Ok. Questions? A lot of. <laughs> ok. Let's practice one more time. Look, hey, I'm sorry, helped. 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 Oh. With the T, right? Looked. 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 Washed. 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 Catched. Catched. Okay, very good. Let's go to D. Called. 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 Cleaned. 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 No T, no T, sino D. D. La D. No la T, sino la D. Cleaned. 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 No, Carla estás pronunciando la T. Okay. Cleaned. Cleaned. Ahí está, ahora sí. Offered. 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 Loved. 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 No, no la T. Loved. D. Loved. 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 Tiene que sonar al final D. D. Loud. Loud. Very good. Loud. Now let's go to number three. ID. Wanted. 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 Id. 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 Wanted. Wanted. Needed. 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 Ahí está. Esa es la pronunciación de los verbos pasados. Incorrecto es decir, look it. Help it. Look it, wash it. No. Mm -mm. No existe en el, en el inglés. Solamente sí. existe el sonido de la t. T. t, t, t d, d, d. La D. O id. 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 Very good. Ok. That is the pronunciation. Eso con el tiempo ustedes van a ir mejorando. Ok. What questions? No? No. Okay, so homework. Terminar la sección 1 y terminar 1. Punto, eh, perdón, 2.4 creo que hicimos, ¿verdad? El knowledge check. Llegar hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, I'll see you, I'll see you guys next week, okay? I'll see you, see you next week. Okay, see you next week. Okay. Have a great weekend. Bye. Too. Bless you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Have a good Bye. one. Bye. Bye. Good night. Thank you.